It's Thursday. It's Tell the Truth Thursday. Smoke them if you got them. It's Thirsty Thursday too. Shitting in the shade. Jack Daniels and Lemonade. It's Thursday, y'all. Today is about Brandon Scott. It's about the Democratic Party. It's about the Supreme Court. It's about a criminal investigation into the Democratic Party and the money y'all make off black bodies. From enslavement to mass incarceration. I'm at the end of my journey. State of Illinois versus Dwayne Davis, 1986. Guns and drugs. The illegal war on drugs. I'm a precedent setting case in Illinois and in Maryland. And I'm ready to light y'all up. Expand the ballot, expand the vote. All right. Ex felons got a right to vote. And Governor Hogan took me off the ballot in 2014. You're going to light this up. This is artwork and evidence. All right. Can you see in there? All right. Because this is for everybody. There's room on my table for everybody. In New York, they're going after the mayor of New York. Well, you're going to have to come to Baltimore. You got Mayor Brandon Scott. You got the city council. You got the county council. And you got Eric Barron from the Department of Justice protecting them. We're going to take a walk for justice. That's Shorty's Barbecue. I've been in business since 1997. Everything that I'm telling you, you go directly to David Trone and get everything David Trone got. Get everything Senator Cardin's got. Get everything Chuck Grassley got. Get everything President Biden got. We talk about race and racism. And we getting ready to open the door. This is an art studio. Art and activism. The art of protest. I'm a cook. I'm a caterer. I've been in y'all's houses. I'm not to help. I don't smoke inside the house. But I do drink. Uh, this is for the FBI, the Department of Justice. Eric Barron already got this. Odette Ramos has this. All right. And this was on exhibit at the Creative Alliance to make sure that nobody can say that they didn't see it. I applied for Martin Luther King's job in 2011. Y'all locked me up. Activism ain't terrorism. It's the good kind of trouble. Right there. I put this toilet in front of the Baltimore County Courthouse. That's TV One, Radio One. That's Ehrlich. That's a shoe shine box. That's the NAACP. Kobe Little, Benjamin Jealous, Joshua Harris, Tessa, um, C.D. Witherspoon. Yeah. Activism ain't terrorism. That's the Black Arts District. It's Black Art, and I'm a Black artist. Like I said, this is a good book. Ugh. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. And right here it says, Dwayne G. Davis, whistleblower, Baltimore City, Baltimore County Police Department. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. And we're talking about the book thing. We're talking about the book thing. Have the Baltimore Book Club or Baltimore Book Festival. Odette Ramos got this, like I said. You stole us from Africa and made us slaves in America. And I made a movie and a book about it. Shorty, pull your mask up. Y'all remember that? Well, this is Shorty unmasking Baltimore. Those are criminal charges against Scott Schellenberger. And y'all got this. Day 56, February 13th, 2024. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. And right here, that says Judge Badar and Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court. That's Mr. Fields, 2012, and that's Johnny Oleski. That's Sheila Dixon. And Sheila Dixon was in the room when I confronted Scott Schellenberger. That's Judge Mary Barbera. That's Judge Badar. And this is notarized. Like I said, shorty, pull your mask up. Whoever having knowledge of an actual commission of a felony, cognizable by court of law in the United States, conceals and does not as soon as possible make known to the same judges or persons of civil or military authority under the United States shall be fined under this title and imprisoned no less than three years. You got this. You had this since you were councilman, Scott. When you were city councilman. That's a whistleblower's application. 
All right. That's Frank Conway. That's Governor Westmore, Attorney General Anthony Brown, Attorney Ivan Bates, Baltimore City Police Department, Worley, Ben Cardins, Mayor Brandon Scott, President Biden, Chief Justice Roberts of the Supreme Court, Department of Justice, Eric Barron. See who that is? That's Ivan Bates. That's Ivan Bates. Like I said, this is the book thing. And this is the book about Baltimore. Shorty, pull your mask up. No, that's Baltimore Rewired. It's Leaders of a Beautiful Struggle. I gave Andy Ellis this book. And this is about the tapes in Baltimore, the corruption. See that? That's the 113th Congress. That's how long I've been doing this. So Leaders of a Beautiful Struggle, y'all ain't showed nobody that book yet. Andy got this book. Carmella, you said that you's with capitalism. To this man of the master's house, you got to use the master's tools. Monopoly, the cheater's edition. Get cuffed, get caught. That's Baltimore rewired, the money behind the machine. That's the United States Supreme Court. All right? And that's Scott Schellenberger. We talking about the new faces of old Jim Crow. All right? The new faces of old Jim Crow. This is a book. That's the book fair. Here goes the book. Baltimore rewired. Andy Ellis got that book. Tell Andy Ellis to show the world that book. That's the Supreme Court. And that's the NAACP, 2007. C.D. Witherspoon, Tessa, Kobe Little, Benjamin Jealous, Joshua Harris, Doc Cheatham, NAACP. And we're talking about the United States Department of Prisons. See the date? And that's your headquarters, NAACP. So we're talking about being black in America and the money you make off of black bodies. That's capitalism. That's Eric Barron of the Department of Justice. Racism don't work without black cooperation. Remember that. Racism don't work without black cooperation. That's Vice President Harris. You say you black. That's Eric Barron. He black. And this is the 13th Amendment and the money you make off black bodies. You feel me? The monies you make off black bodies. That's President Biden. And these are the supporters of shorties. Racism don't work without black cooperation, but it ain't going to end without white participation. And these are my participants. That's Kwai and Fumi and President Biden. I mean, President Obama. President Obama asked for an investigation. Ex-felons got a right to vote. That's Dwayne G. Davis, 2006, Get Shorty. Get Shorty, a movie, a documentary, a book, a story about the prison industry and mass incarceration. I'm the cook in Baltimore. I'm the elder in Baltimore. I'm an activist in Baltimore. I'm in city paper. Y'all put me on blast. That's Mayor Brandon Scott. Like I said, a body of politics. That's a legal notice. It's an MPT learning moment. That's Baltimore City, Baltimore County, and Lake County, Illinois. So we're talking about jurisdiction. And you were sitting in that seat. I'm a copywritten criminal. All right? And right here, the prison industry in Lake County, Illinois. Please allow 30 to 60 days for our agency to respond. All right. That's Kerry Cogwell from President Obama's office, Senator Obama. The same time that he was having tea with Crowley, I was locked up in the Lake County Jail. That's my lawyer, Mr. Bailey. See the date? 2009. That's the Baltimore Sun and Billy Murphy. That's my whistleblower's application. And that's the Public Justice Center right here about your prison industry. So President Biden, you was Vice President Biden when I started this. You feel me? We talking about the 13th Amendment. The new face of old Jim Crow. Laws that you wrote to incarcerate our black community. You feel me? Laws that you wrote to incarcerate our black community. So now what you gonna do? Because Mayor Brandon Scott, you got a body of politics? This all about you. You got that paperwork. Complaint number. Officer, Baltimore City Police Commissioner Harrison, Post Office, Eric Barron, Department of Justice, ID number. All right. They going after the mayor in New York. Well, I'm going to make sure they come see you. You're going to be my main witness. I got books. And we're going to play the tapes like Watergate. You feel me? We're going to play the tapes like Watergate.
the 113th Congress. You feel me? Right here. The world is watching. I'm going to give them something to see. Shorty's bootleg barbecue. You stole our fathers from our families the way you stole Africans from Africa. Remember that. And use black faces to do it. Racism don't work without black cooperation.